Hello everyone. I hope you're having a tremendous day. I'm thinking by the time you see this amazing modular home, your day is going to be a whole lot better. Look, I'm just like so far back right now because this house is massive, okay? We're at the 2024 Louisville Manufacturer Housing Show, and this is a home manufactured by Genesis, which is a part of Champion. I'm gonna come back there, show you a lot of information, but while I'm over this direction, let me show you a few things on the back side, and we'll circle back and head in. So we've got a garage on this house, as you can tell, and we'll check it out. Now, obviously, you can tell this is not a full garage, just kind of for show here to show you what it would look like. 512 roof pitch, nine foot ceilings, over 1800 square foot, heated and cooled. We come around to the backside. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Champion Homes, one of America's leading builders of manufactured and modular homes. With hundreds of innovative models and retailers across the country, Champion specializes in a smarter way to build. And I gotta be completely honest with y'all. You know, I say so much stuff about the homes and then I see something like this and I go totally opposite. Cause I'm like, I love when it's a white house. It's got the black windows. It's got the black shutters. I do, I really like that stuff. But this house is just like completely white. And I don't know also if it's just because it's extremely big, but something about it is just amazing. Y'all drop a comment along the way. I'd love to hear from you. Sliding doors. What's on the other side of that, you ask? Think you could tell look at all these windows all these windows um that's pretty much all i want to show you on the back side head back around and let's make it happen okay so as we come back around we got to notice our light fixtures that we have here and then here's what i really want to show you they got some good information right here so this is going to be built to state code two by ten floor joists um you know if you want to screenshot that i'll try to have a floor plan for you as well anyways but you can if you would like to. I'm not gonna waste any time though and I'm gonna get in because we got a lot to see. Thank you all so much for clicking on the video. If you would like to drop a like, I would appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's go. Now, let me first off say some of the de decor stuff is not finished. I'll try to come back once all that's done and just get some video and I'll try to sprinkle that in as well into the tour. However, um, I'm trying to get as much content as I can here before the show actually gets kicked off. So just bear with me. Look at this. We walk in and then here to the left, it's not just a coat closet, you guys. This is a, this is a full blown room you got some places down here for your boots and shoes you've got uh some cabinets drawers over here look you've even got a very long coat rack you can even <laughs> talk to well back about wearing vest y'all y'all that wear vest you got plenty of room for your vest in here as well all right so back out of there now here we go here's where it starts getting really good Oh my goodness. Let's start off with the living room though. Then we'll make our way in there. Notice we've got uh, this flooring here and then it comes into carpet into the living area. Now you can customize option in all types of stuff on these homes. So for sure, keep that in mind. Look at all those windows off the back. That is beautiful. Now obviously this has to sit inside of a building right here, but just imagine out on some property. That would be a beautiful view you could have. And I like this setup right here. It's kind of just sleek and simple and it's not stuff everywhere, you know, that looks crammed or whatever. It's just, it makes this area look very big, doesn't it? Y'all drop a comment along the way. Y'all let me know some things uh, that maybe I don't mention here in the tour, okay? So we've got these columns right here that's gonna divide your, basically your living room into your kitchen and your dining area. So this area right here, I'm gonna ha hopefully have a floor plan for you. You can just see the dimensions on how big this is. 
full, I love that full glass like that. No grid or anything in it. Here's our sliding door off the back where the dining area is. Perfect setup as well. And I guess I'm just kind of envisioning, but like you walk out maybe one of those firefly outdoor living spaces, you know, that's got the outdoor kitchen and the fireplace and everything. I'm just saying, I could see it. We've got lighting under the cabinets. I like that. We've got multiple plug-ins here and then all the way throughout the kitchen, which we'll get over to. Like this, I noticed in one other house, we got the USB and the USC plug. Then we got your regular, uh, one of those 110s. I'm not an electrician by any means, not even gonna act like it. All right, here, so the sink is in the kitchen island. I know some of y'all love that. I know some of you are not a huge fan of it, but I wanna show you, we have our drain rack. We have this here, we have our cutting board. We have this sink. So basically what it is, it kind of inlays right there as you can, as you can see. And then everything that you have kind of sets down in there like that. So I, I think it's really cool. Whirlpool appliances. And then as you can see over here on this wall, look at this. This is very nice. I love the backsplash and I love how it wraps around your vent hood. It goes all the way to the ceiling. And then notice up there, you got the, I mean, you could put some decor and stuff up there. And like I said, I'm going to get some shots when they got it fully decor. So hopefully we'll be able to see some of that. Now, what I'm trying to figure out is there's a room over here and there's a room up. I don't even know what's what. Maybe I should have looked at the floor plan before, huh? <laughs> okay, what is this? this <laughs> what is this? Is this like an office? Look at all this. I mean, I'm having so many thoughts of like different things that you could do. Um, I'm seeing all this and I'm thinking maybe like a home office and you're like, no, no, not that, not that. Well, well then what? Like what? What do you, <laughs> so much opportunity, you know? I love these little windows. I didn't really show you this, but we have them up there in that, uh, in that first room, but you can unlock them, pull that open. Check that out. That's really nice. And then look, we've got lighting here under these cabinets. We've got drawers. This, this little setup is sweet, y'all. We've got a breaker box position in here if you need access to that. Wow. I got to hear from you on this spot. I got to hear from you what you, what you think. Now, so what is this going to be down here? Now, first off, let me get a look at this fridge for you. Look inside one of these cannons, show you just how massive they are. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense, this is your laundry room. Goes out to the garage. We got a spot for a washer and a dryer. Um, and then in between, you got this nice little top space, got some cabinets. Let's see what, what we got behind these doors. Gonna have our furnace here. Probably gonna be the water heater there, okay, for sure. And this goes into the garage, let's see. Let's see. So obviously this is just for show. So I mean, this isn't, isn't even a full length garage, but I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. I know one time I didn't show one and y'all, man, y'all lost it. Y'all were like, I can't believe he didn't show the garage. It's not, it's not a real garage. Okay, okay. So, we've seen the living room, we've seen the kitchen, we've seen everything right here in this big open area. Let's go down here and look at some bedrooms, and then back behind me is the main bedroom. And that's something that I definitely want to end the tour with. Cause I don't need, I, I've gotta, I gotta think for a minute exactly what I need my mom say. Let's go down here though. First off, let's look at a bedroom here to our left. Here's the decor. Yeah. So I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm just, I'm walking around here and I'm wanting to video something. So I wanna, I went ahead and started video. Look at these nine foot ceilings. And then we come right here. This closet is super big for a guest bedroom, kids bedroom. Perfect size, I would say.
And then let's see. Across we have our bath here. This is a big bathroom, lots of space. Obviously this house is gonna be fully sheet rock, tape protection walls. We've got a good look there. We've already seen that. It just, I'll show you all the drawers lined up. I did, didn't I? Okay, let's walk in this bedroom very quickly. This is gonna be off the front. We've got two beautiful windows out here on the front. can't get over how tall these ceilings are. They look wonderful. And then plus, this is another huge walk-in closet. And we got access to the uh, attic right there. I'm just gonna share as we walk to this main bedroom. I'm just, uh, just thinking, this is one of those houses that obviously from the exterior, you're like, okay, this one's bad. And, but sometimes I've seen ones on the, ex seen homes on the exterior. And I'm like, you know, really wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but this is one that not only the exterior definitely pops when you walk in, it's got that same pop as well. So it's like a double pop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so here's a good look at that built-in microwave and then let's go into the main bedroom right here. It's gonna be a rather large room and I like how they have this bed position. They had that, that real nice window over the top of it. And I've seen some of these in the past and this one seems to be I guess that'd be like your height. It seems to be, sometimes they're, you know, they're not quite that tall, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So definitely a little more eye catching to me. All right, we've got the barn door that brings us into the main bathroom. And that's where I'm taking y'all right now. Are y'all ready? You buckled? Okay, here we go. You buckled in? Let's go. Oh, wow. This home has a lot of drawers in it, doesn't it? I mean, I'm always used to seeing more, usually cabinets right here going up your wall. This one's got cabinets and some more drawers. And another thing that I've just thought about potentially is the fact that maybe there usually are drawers, but they're kind of more towards the bottom where they kind of put these drawers in between some cabinets. So, you know, you ain't got to be bending down all the time if you got stuff in there. We got double sinks. We got the same sinks and faucets and mirrors that we had in the uh, other bath down there. Are you, don't you be looking at the towel shower behind me, okay? We're going to get there. It's coming up really soon. But I feel like if I went to it right now, y'all wouldn't even really pay attention. Look at this. Look at this. this is another great storage area. And this is like built in your walls. So it's not taking up space or anything, essentially. And then we've got our commode there. And then here's the shower. Look at this, I'm gonna back up. about that that's my first time seeing a shower like this just to be honest with the tile goes all the way to the ceiling but what i'm talking about is like our glass right here and how it uh connects and just this is i think i i believe in in doing that what they've been able to do is kind of make this shower a little bit uh wider maybe
Lastly, quickly walk into this closet. Now y'all stick around. I'm gonna get into some information, okay? Look at all the built-ins that they went ahead and put in this particular closet. Got the same thing going on down there that we have right here. And then you have these racks. Also, like you got like the shelves here where you can put stuff on. And then also just notice this, here we go. This house is full of surprises. Let's get into more information on it. I'm gonna try to gather some stuff that I think will be resourceful for you. Before we do that though, y'all please consider sharing this video. That'll help a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and notification bell and drop a like if you will, thanks. So here we are, finna get into the good stuff. I do have to once again tell you though, this video is sponsored by Champion Homes, one of America's leading builders of manufactured and modular homes. With hundreds of innovative models and retailers across the country, Champion specializes in a smarter way to build. So yeah, this home is actually manufactured in Topeka, Indiana. Now, if you've watched a lot of the videos, you know I tour a lot of Champion Homes. And there's a lot more at the show that I recorded that'll be coming real soon, so stay tuned, okay? But yeah, you can check them out online. There's gonna be a link in the description. With that being said, that should be able to help you out a lot. I'll have some information in the description. Now, this house can be manufactured as a HUD or a modular home. Now, keep in mind, just like I said there on the front of the house, if you're going modular, then it all depends on the state you're in because each state has certain codes when it comes to building a modular house. Okay, the videos here on the channel come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. As you can tell, I'm in the hotel here in Kentucky. I had to go ahead and get this video ready because this was one of the baddest houses there. And so I was trying to get it edited as soon as I possibly can to get this thing out. If you hadn't seen some of the other homes from the trip, some have already been posted, check them out, they're on the channel. Oh, and let me tell you, more on the way, okay? So stay tuned. So I'll just tell you right here for the next month or so, you need to be checking your notifications when I post content, okay? All right, let's get into just estimated retail pricing. Now, I love to be able to provide some type of pricing for you guys, okay? Y'all know I do that because I'm the same way if I'm in the market looking for something, I want a general idea. With that being said, on this house, it's gonna be a very wide range because of the unlimited factors that we just don't know because this was at a show, not at a, not at a dealership. We don't know the state it's being built to. We don't know if it's modular, manufactured, all that type of stuff, okay? The options you go with, nine foot ceilings. You come down to eight foot ceilings, you're gonna save some money. You know, so just stuff like that that we can't account for, but I'll give you a range on this particular house. Hopefully it'll help you out, give you some type of idea what something like this is going for. At the end of the day, I believe it's gonna be a lot cheaper than a site built home in your area. And that's just me. I know every area is different, but especially in my area for sure. Okay, hopefully this will help you out. This will be for at the time of recording, right here. So there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I bet y'all thought this was Starbucks. It's not. This is, uh, well, it says Cisco. That's just gonna be where this wrapper's from. This is from uh, down at the lobby, okay? And it's, it's really good. I'm gonna head out. I know it's been a long tour. There's gonna be some other videos popping up. If you wanna watch more, do that. With that being said though, for sure come back to the next video. I hope every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless y'all and I will see you on the next tour. See y'all.